Hmm. Oh, private area. Hell house made. Soldier. I think my search search for a fence is fruitless right now. I'm just gonna have to start dropping a bunch of shit. <laughs> I would hate to drop all this stuff, but... Alright, we're gonna do one more thing before... I'm kinda wondering if I have my own little chest. Makes me wonder if it's over here. Oh. Alright, I think that's our last evil deed <laughs> that we're ever going to commit in this game. We're going to try and do everything, uh, it's going so slow. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Because we're crossing a bridge? Yeah, but I'm thinking the rest of the playthrough, we're trying to play it legit <laughs> instead of beating the holy fuck out of our person we need to talk to or steal from. Okay. So. I was talking to him about the ring after he walks in. Good day to you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're a sort of... I kind of killed him. <laughs> now run with the ring, the Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. Oh, he's the fence. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. I don't think this game wants you to play kindly. <laughs> I think this game wants you to be a complete, utter piece of shit. <laughs> You'll buy stolen goods from me. Thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Yeah, sell so long goods. Some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right, let's see what we can do about that. Got some britches. Oh, and he yes, we can buy lock picks now. Treasure maps that we probably can't read. That stuff. Oh, we got a dagger. It's an offhand item. Alright, let's sell the shit. Sell anything I'm not currently using. Mm, we'll keep that. And he buys it around the same price, so... Ah, uh, we need lockpicks. Oh my god, why are lockpicks so expensive? <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, oh, gonna kill me, dude. We'll buy... Wait. Buy five of them. Well, let's go to basket and... Drop that from five to like, probably like two. <laughs> wait, no, wait. Yeah, it's by, there's only by two of them. <laughs> That's expensive. Why? Why? <laughs> Lock picks are insanely expensive. Thanks, sir. Oh, yeah, I was wondering if there's a... Oh, cool. Well, I guess if there's anything I want to store, I can put it in here. Ugh. God. 
I think we need to... What, what time is it in the game? It is definitely not time to sleep yet. <laughs> um... Let's talk to her real quickly. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Aw, thanks. Yeah, not a good question to ask her. <laughs> can I eat? Actually, what can we drop in the pot? Oh, we can have a savory snaps. Put in that. Put in the stolen one. And then eat. Did that? Oh, I didn't save. Oh, and we're overeating. <laughs> Fuck. All right, that means we're, we're just a healthy boy. Um, let's continue the main story. Side mission. Wait, oh, we're not done with this yet. Holy shit, he's way over there. Hmm. Vengeance. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna do this first. We really need a horse. I wonder how much a horse is gonna be in this game. <laughs> Since, like, what? Lockpicks are like 36 something. <laughs> Stupid. Utterly stupid. <laughs> the concussion doesn't help. someone was sending hounds on me or something like that. It's like, oh my god. What the hell did I do to you? Okay. Making sure I didn't have my weapon out. <laughs> Blood. Hi. Hi. Um, oh yeah. You get rid of that, uh, what you call it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can talk to the Lord. Smith's son, Hal. Oh, my soul. It is him. What are you doing here? Oh, it's good they noticed me. you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scarlet. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Skalix? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? As I say, so what you been doing? Oh, nothing.
I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Rattai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. You're just going to let me to talk to the lord. Okay. Oh, do we talk to this guard? Nope. I, I, oh my hey. god, there's too many people in there. Oh, it's a chamber pot. <laughs> Maybe we're on the wrong level. I go up here. Ah, okay. Your graces. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. The Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Rattay, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit, he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. 
She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. <laughs> Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And the dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, Dupe Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty. Perseverance and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, we'd like to enter my service. So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. Yeah, but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. We shall continue this tomorrow. We start our training at dawn.